So last time I did a video on recommended specs for a PC build for Photoshop, some viewers wanted to get some input on memory. Uh, we're going to do that in this video. I want to be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be. Talk a little bit about storage and power supplies too. Now currently there are two types of memory you can use for your Intel build. That's the DDR5 class for the 12th generation Intel desktops or the DDR4 class for the same 12th generation chips and pretty much for everything else as well on the market. So which should you choose and why? 12th generation Intel can support both DDR4 and DDR5 RAM and right now the least expensive and best performing is DDR4. So I recommend going for DDR4. The only other consideration really is if you're building a PC with a view to using it, say for the next five years, you may want to build in the ability to upgrade to DDR5 at some stage. The problem is you can't. You have to get a motherboard that supports either DDR5 or DDR4. For the best performance, you can go for overclocked RAM. I recommend overclocked low latency RAM from G-Skill, if that's the case. Otherwise, I would recommend some standard DDR4 RAM, maybe something from Corsair. I believe standard speeds are 2400 to 3200. The procedure you might want to follow is to look for the highest speed you can afford, and then look for the lowest latency. Always use matched modules for dual channel systems. And most Intel and AMD systems will be dual channel. If you do decide to go for overclocked modules, you may pay a bit more or even a lot more for performance which is marginally higher at the possible expense of increased system instability. DDR5 RAM has dropped in price since December by about two thirds and it is currently about twice as expensive as DDR4 RAM. When, when manufacturers start to come out with high performance modules that are affordable, you may want to consider at that stage building a DDR5 system. A word or two on storage. Many PCs nowadays, many PC cases have just a couple of trays for hard drives which, especially if you do photography, may not be enough to store a large amount of data. You should consider a NAS drive if you have important data that you need to store long term. These are network attached storage drives and they attach to your network router and provide ample opportunity to expand storage for your PC and any other PC connected to your network as the need arises. Finally, a word on power supplies or PSUs. When building a PC for professional work, it's easy to overlook the need to get a first rate PSU as part of your build. This is important because a good quality PSU will be energy efficient, saving you money, sometimes a lot of money. They will thereby also produce less heat and need less noisy fans to cool down. This in turn provides for a more comfortable work environment. The benefits really do multiply. If in any doubt about a particular PSU, read reviews before buying. I'll link in the description to some manufacturers that I've found fairly reliable over the years.